Also, I do the memorabilia stuff as well. The Wheaties boxes um, still had a cereal in them. I, I never opened the boxes. I don't know what made me keep a lot of this stuff. I wouldn't recommend eating the cereal. No, though. not at all. Since, but, since 80, 85, yeah, 86. <laughs> yeah. Then the Gatorade bottles, the original with the glass. And um, then I have this, this figurine here with the, with the threes that really saved Nike. You know, because Mike was going to leave and, and go to a different brand. Probably it was going to be Adidas. Probably Adidas. And his mom talked him into going in and meeting with Tinker, and Tinker came with the three. Yeah. And the rest was history. Yep. Is this just a regular jacket? This Jack is Sports, uh, this a shooter. Not, no, this is a Michael Jordan issue. Really? Made for him. So is this another? Didn't release in the store. There's, there's two of them. This is the, the white one, and you have your... Quilted patch there. The flight. And then the back. And the black one. Wow. I mean, I, I love them both, but this is just something, you know, the about it. out black. That is sweet. Yeah. And he said that it says for MJ. So that was supposed to be for MJ? That yes. jacket itself. So another. Yes. It has his name. You know, when they, when they issue stuff to, to Jordan brand members or even MJ himself, they have their names on it. Got it. So that has his name on it, and it was something that was never released to the public. Nice, nice. Uh, I also have from Champs, they sent me the championship hat packs oh, down there, cool. both of them. And, you know, they were, they were gifted to me from being a true Bulls fan and a lifetime collector of, of Bulls memorabilia and stuff. This is a, a, a flight suit that I had. I see Drake is coming back out with with wearing a rocking flight suits, but these have been out for a while. This one is one with the hood. And this one here actually goes with the suede 21s and it has the 21 stamp right there. And then these are the shoes you can rock with it. A lot of people really don't know about the flight suits. That's one of them. Yes, yeah, like you said, Drake's bringing that back. He was in like an, an all white one, I guess the brand. Yeah, for him. I saw I yeah. saw him on a. He was doing a concert with him, and these are the Jordan Downtown. This is a from the Boot collection, back when the two three line was out. Back when it was brand Jordan. Yeah. Right. It's and the brand Jordan versus Jordan brand. This is. I keep it in wrapped up in the plastic but this is a flight suit and i believe this one was 300 dollars. it was 299 if i remember correctly and it has you know the logo on the back and then it has a little metal logo there and then at the bottom it also has jordan right across the covenant so you got to start rocking these back again yeah now, so i think i'm going i think so i'm going to rock this too one of one of the events coming up. So since Jersey Drake's back on it, you know, now you yeah. gotta get the you gotta create the yeah. hype, keep it rolling with that. Cats will be like, where you get that from? Right. The thing that just came out has been out. You can also rock this with the you know, with the with the cool grays if you want. Right. So I mean you have you have a bunch of options to rock your um your clothes and gear with. This is one of the jackets that came out, the varsity jackets. It's the Jordan 1 logo on the back, Wings logo. Mm-hmm. And people probably remember this one from the, the, uh, Forgot the video, Dre. Forgot About Dre, with uh, Eminem. And Dr. Dre was rocking this in the video. And that was, I believe, was $4.99. Yep, that's about it right. $4.99. And then this is one of the most recent jackets I got with a mixture of uh, leather and then your suede there. And again, these are with all your carpet clothes that you wear. Logo, yeah. You know, uh, on an everyday basis, you think I'll be a walking billboard, but <laughs> this, is, this is what I've, I've chosen to wear. And those are just some of the... the um, the clothes that I have, some of the memorabilia, and of course the boots, because here in the Midwest, you know, with the snow and everything, definitely gotta have your boots on. And this one brand does it for me. This is everything in one. So like any final words you would tell, uh, you know, the kids watching this or even adults watching this growing up, um, 
you know, one thing you want to shout out to them or a little piece of advice about copping kicks or sneakers? Yeah. The, the one thing I would like to tell people is cop and rock what you like. Don't be influenced by other people and refrain from I have this, you don't, any type of negativity. Be humble with everything you do. You know, uh, appreciate everything you get. Don't just take stuff for granted. Be appreciative for everything that you have. I don't know if Michael Jordan raped the hood. I understand what Stephon Marbury is saying. So, and if there's anything, he, he should talk to, to Nike and not Michael Jordan. You, know, you can't blame Michael Jordan, you understand, for, for making a billion dollars off of shoes that's not worth <laughs> that much money. Because when they come with some of the limited release shoes, you can see the tumbled leather is a lot better. Sure. And, and a lot of the, the fusions and the Team Jordans material is a lot better 